today does mark the return to remote and flexible learning for most students in Melbourne Metro and Mitchell Shire. So we will have around 700,000 students today, Peter 10, uh, learning from home. I know this is hard. Uh, this is a challenging time. Uh, remote learning is not easy uh, for parents and carers, for teachers and staff, and most importantly, for our students. But my message to parents is be patient. Uh, don't be hard on yourself. Uh, your teachers know what they're doing. They did a brilliant job last time. They will do a brilliant job again. So we will get through this period. Uh, and in doing so, we're supporting students as much as we can. Uh, I've reported a number of times in terms of the support for students who don't have access to laptops and devices or the internet. I can advise you all we're now up to 61,000 uh, laptops and devices for students who need them, as well as around 20, 23,000 uh, SIM cards and dongles. Uh, and this term also does look a bit different. Uh, we've already introduced uh, temperature checks, so we have temperature checks for all students as they arrive for school, whether that's for face-to-face -face learning for our VCE and VCAL students uh, in our special schools, or whether it's for students uh, who need to, need to undertake remote learning on site if their parents can't provide a home learning environment, uh, if they're a student with a disability or if they're vulnerable students. So we've distributed more than 14,000 infrared uh, thermometers to schools uh, right across uh, Melbourne Metro and Mitchell Shire. And of course, uh, from Thursday, uh, our community will look different with the mandatory use of masks. And again, in this space, education is very well prepared. We already have 1.2 million single-use masks and we'll be distributing those to uh, all government schools in Melbourne Metro and Mitchell Shire over the coming couple of days. Uh, and we'll be also providing these single-use masks for our Catholic and independent schools. So work is underway with the Catholic system, uh, with ISV, in terms of the logistics of rolling those single-use masks out. Secondly, uh, there is an order for reusable masks. 1.37 million reusable masks have been ordered and the Department of Education will be one of the first to receive the first batch of these reusable masks and we'll have those uh, by early next week and again we'll be distributing uh, those out to uh, government and non-government schools in Melbourne Metro and Mitchell Shire. And then of course many, many families already have masks uh, many people are making their own masks and students may also choose to wear bandanas or scarves to school. So schools will be a very interesting place from Thursday in terms of uh, what the students are wearing. But these are masks and face coverings. So many students will choose to wear uh, scarves and bandanas. But the bottom line is uh, any student who needs a mask will be provided with one. Uh, for teachers, because I know there's many, uh, many questions from teachers and staff, uh, again, uh, it's a very simple message. It is not a requirement for teachers in the classroom because it's not always practical. Uh, teachers will be able uh, not to wear a mask or they won't be required to wear a mask during instruction, but beyond the classroom, in the staff room, in the schoolyard, uh, teachers and staff will be required to wear a mask. And again, uh, the distribution of the masks, both single-use masks this week and reusable masks next week, will be for staff and students uh, at all our schools, uh, all our government schools, and we'll be distributing and providing masks as needed to Catholic and independent schools as well. So I know this is um, a, a difficult time for everyone, particularly uh, for our students and, and for parents in a home learning environment, uh, but I want to reassure you that the government is providing all the support we can to make sure that we get through this difficult period uh, safely and well and our students are learning at home or on site at school.